Who would have thought the Sony A99 is back in this very promising sequel? Could this be the perfect all-round camera? Thank you to Squarespace for supporting this channel. Whether you need a domain, website or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. There's only one guy I know with A-mount lenses that was super excited about the announcement of the A99 too. Can I do that? I've always wanted to do this. It doesn't work. What's the point? Why do people do that? A-mount lenses. Why have you got so many A-mount lenses? Um, I think a lot of them are very good, underrated, and uh, some of them are very cheap, like this Minolta with 300mm which is APO and autofocus, you know, is a fraction of the cost of, you know, second hand is a fraction of the cost of a new Canon or a Nikon one. Uh, yeah, so they're, they're good value, there's some great bargains to be had. Um, and I didn't pay that much for these because, you know, people don't want them as much. I'm not really moving fast can you, enough yeah, at can all. Can maybe do some, you know... No! I'm just eating a dumpling. Get, Are you just going to get covered in dumpling? Get your pole out. No! Right, so now we're gonna we're gonna take photos of Madame Chan frying some dumplings. I think it's just that whoever makes the plate is called Madame Chan. It's Yang Mama. <laughs> Follow Go on wrong. Facebook. Don't find Madame Chan. Come to Yang Mama. It's recommended. It's that health and safety thing. If I get into the kitchen, because I, I have <laughs> got, I have got like, at a minute I've got airborne aids, which is never a good thing for food health and safety. I think one of those shots work. I mean, it seems like it's mostly A7R2 here, but it's not. This is a far better camera in terms of focusing. Mm. I agree with Dan that A-mount glass is good and affordable, but with 12 FPS, I decide to shoot something a little bit quicker some other day. Trying another man's helmet on for size. You might want to take your Snapchats off. Wow! It's like being born again. It's like being <laughs> wow, it's like being born. Oh. Go on, get your head in there. First of all, let's see what Protol Paul John right? Bayfield thinks of the A99 too. We're ready to go. If you are doing this type of thing, you're typically going to belong to one of two armies, and that would be Canon and Nikon. One as much as the other, they're, they're pretty much the same. I happen to belong to the Nikon group and I use one of these. It's a D5. The mirror's in there, it goes up and down. You aim it at stuff, it works pretty fast. It's a good tool for a job such as this. But, something new has come along from Sony. Ta-da! Now it is a DSLR, it does have a mirror. But, unlike the other two, this one doesn't move it stays perfectly still and it is translucent so you're looking continuously through the lens effectively in live view all the time you're seeing what you're getting and I'm interested to see what's the blackout time gonna be like and how does it compare to something like the D5 let's find out is firing fast 12 fps right off the bat it sounds nice too he's just gone off the track one thing about having all those kind of cross points with the focus is i'm not having to kind of like com compose and focus and then recompose for my frame it's actually the af is kind of picking out the moving part of the target really nicely And I'm not having to think about that. Okay, so it, it is tracking a moving subject through frame really quite nicely. And I have to say, I wholeheartedly agree.
<laughs> this is immense. This is this is insane. There's virtually no view by the Blacko. <laughs> I mean, just think about that. 42 megapixels, 12 FPS. Let's track him. The subject tracking is as close to perfect as you'd want. I mean, if you want to get that kind of frame rate with a Nikon, it's a D5. Well, if you want to shoot raw at full resolution, it drops down to 11.1 FPS, but still. Mirrorless is great and all, but sometimes you just can't beat having a bigger body, better battery life, more ruggedness. It's almost like you're talking about me. There is a lot to like about the 7899 too. Details from the 42 megapixel sensor are unsurprisingly good. It's crispier than a burnt crispy thing. However, it's not a low light monster. At ISO 3200, it's still okay. At ISO 6400, you start to see a lot of details. At 12800, not so hot. And then above that, well, you can guess. A992 is impressive for stills, but what about for video? So yes, movie mode. Shoots 4K to Sony. It's got S Log 3, which the A7R2 does not have. Which is nice. I mean, this seems like it could be the perfect replacement to my A7R2. One thing I don't like about the A7R2 battery life. Atrocious. Now, people keep saying switch it to airplane mode, switch this and that off. No! Battery life is atrocious. Of course it's got of course it's got all the perks it's got everything basically it's got the five axis stabilization and yes it does have continuous autofocus for video but here's the catch it's only at f3.5 Because it's stuck at 3.5, of course I can put an ND filter on it, but it will still keep changing when I'm going for something dark to something bright like that. I mean, that's one thing that just infuriates. Why? Why, Sony? So I have to have the screen at a certain angle before I can actually see it the right way up. Just like this. Anything like this, no, it's upside down. There's no reason why they couldn't have added continuous autofocus in full manual mode. I have to say the A92 is exceptional for still images, but for video, it kind of feels like they've crippled the potential of it. I mean, when they first announced this, I was really thinking of selling my A7R2 and getting this, because, yes, it's got a tilty flippy screen that you can shoot yourself and see yourself with, but the continuous autofocus, why? They've got the Canon disease. No! You know what? I think the thing that they really left out is continuous autofocus in manual mode. That's just for loggers. Like no, you. it's the way forward. No, it is. I, I agree. 
It's a photo camera though. I mean, 这一个饺子你还要吗？哦、oh, ，吃掉吧，别扔，浪费。They could have given you manual. They could have given you full manual of this, but they didn't. Let's have a look at the shutter speed. That's not okay, is it, Dan? It's not really okay, and it's f what? F three f three point five, all the time. Yeah. See, for video, the continuous sort of focus is really quick as well. The trouble is when it picks a faster shutter speed, the video isn't so smooth, and you can see the problems when you shoot under fluorescent lighting. Hold that a minute. Yes, with manual focus, you can still shoot tasty 4K video, but it's a continuous autofocus thing that leaves a funny aftertaste in the mouth. Four K looks good. It has S log three, which the A seven R two doesn't have. Although, like A seven R two, it does suffer from noise even at reasonably lower ISOs. Even at ISO sixteen hundred, I was finding visible noise in the dark tones. Oh, look at that! Beautiful. But being an A7R2 user, knowing the amount of megapixels it has, it's not a surprise. The continuous AF is. If they can have continuous AF in video mode with full manual exposure for the A7R2, why not with the A99 too? Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic camera. It's just that having seen the amount of features Sony has chucked into their cameras recently, it's surprising they didn't completely knock the ball out of the park with this one. Hi, again, thank you to Squarespace for supporting this channel. Squarespace is an all-in-one solution for all those wanting to put together a website or online shop with their super slick award-winning templates, 24-7 customer service and domains makes putting together a website easy even for idiots like me. If you'd like to create a website or online store today, start your free trial at squarespace.com and get 10% off your first purchase with the code KAI.